But I want to talk about what you just said about the women. The women of color showed up in big ways. Of course, you saw uh, in Georgia what what uh, uh, black women have done. But the Latina women were the real heroines here, beating men yeah. in turnout in every state and voting for Biden Harris at an average rate close to three to one. And and that wasn't surprising to us. You know, Latinos are the CEOs of the households. They make all the financial decisions and healthcare decisions and educational decisions. Many Latinas are small business owners and they wanted a plan for recovery um, for themselves, not for Wall Street. And so Trump's policies were never aimed at the struggling Latina community. And you know, if you look at voter suppression on top of that, how Latinas showed up, even through through the closing of polling places and the shutting down mm. of drop off sites and new voter ID laws and long lines and driving 30 miles and and all of that. And on top of that, restrictions and safety protocols of a, of a pandemic, that spirit and perseverance that that Latinas use in their daily lives, the struggle to pay their bills and the struggle to show up to their jobs and homeschool their kids and take care of their elders. That's the same perseverance and spirit they use to show up at the polls. This is the problem with this whole um, support of Biden and Harris. This is the main problem because as a people, we were divided. And this is this is the, the, the reason why black men are no longer going to put our energy and support into machines that work against us. And here you have it. They didn't say nothing, you know. The, Biden spoke about the Latina vote. He said that they weren't a monolith, basically saying that black people were. And that's what empowered her to come out and speak this way. And for black women that have supported this, Biden and Harris, movement don't be shocked when you see more black men pulling even further away you know because you know black women like love to call black men dusty and talk down on us but even black swirlers feel the need to come to my channel and speak negative about black women or black men excuse me where they take the speech that I give as like hate speech towards black women, or even if it's not considered hate, because it's not hate speech, but it's, it's definitely, they take it in a negative way. And the problem with, it, with that is, is that you sit up on these swirler channels talking about you don't even deal with black men. So what do you care what black men are saying about black women that actually deal with black men. Like, you you no longer in that race. And this is just a, like, you know, this is, it, it, that's just proof that, that what black men are saying is true. All we have is us, S-Y-S-B-N. And if you don't, you're just going to keep lining yourself up to continue to have to deal with this kind of stuff, man. This is Ear to the Streets. Please like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.